it is me and today I am very excited because just in the mail I received a box from Plum Deluxe Tees and I am super excited because if you have been watching my channel you will have seen several unboxings from Plum Deluxe and thank you again Auntie Mel for introducing me to this fabulous tea company because they have some of my absolute favorite teas especially their um, Pu'er tea heart drops. I absolutely adore those and I was super excited when I opened the mailbox and found this waiting for me. They have sent me their new spring line of teas and also they said a couple of goodies. So without any more further ado, let us get into this box with our trusty pocket knives. Now if you'd like to know some more information about Plum Deluxe Tea, they are a company based out of Oregon and they have some really fabulous seasonal teas and all year teas. Porch Sipping Pecan is one of my favorites and I said the Pereira Tea Hearts and I just highly recommend checking them out. I'll leave a link down below to their website. They've had a little bit of a makeover to their logo and website but the teas are still the same so let's see what is inside. Ooh, ooh, it's so pretty. It says Sip Sip Hooray Plum Deluxe Tea and this says Spring Delights Awaits and oh my gosh this tissue paper is just absolutely gorgeous. I really really love it. Okay so let's gently open everything up. It's almost so pretty I don't want to, well I'm going to have to rip it. Okay. It's so pretty. Alrighty. Ooh, so we have lots of lovely goodies in here and a little card. It says, enjoy a refreshing and rejuvenating mix of flavors and aromas perfect for the season. Each hand blended batch is carefully curated to provide a unique and delicious tasting experience from soft lavender herbal blends to fruity and aromatic green teas. Our spring blends are sure to invigorate your senses and help you celebrate the arrival of spring which I am so glad it's here. It seemed like um, it just wasn't coming. And actually right now, if you listen in the background, there is wind howling like nothing else, but I'm glad I'll have some nice calming teas. So, ooh, I see a goodie right off the bat. Ooh. Okay, so we have a really, they've sent me a really pretty um, tea infuser. You just set it into your mug and it has some really pretty celestial sun moon and stars on it and it's a really nice fine mesh so that means that um flitters and detrius isn't in the bottom of my mug so that is very thoughtful okay so here is one of our teas you can see their logo has changed and it's a beautiful little hummingbird and this is a green tea Full body rest green tea. Ooh, ginger root lemon essence. Ooh, ginger lemon and green tea. That sounds really nice. Oh, wow. Actually, this smells like um, one of my um, cold remedies. I like to take um, lemon oil and honey and hot water. Oh, this reminds me of that. I cannot wait to test that out. I have my mugs ready and waiting. Although I think I might have to have a couple more mugs. Okay, so next we have Cocoa Lavender Herbal Chai Tea. Ooh, I wonder if this would make a really good, um, like a London Fog Chai. That sounds good. I, I like the idea of that. Ooh, interesting. Well, obviously you can see all the lovely lavender bits in here. And there is the front, and it says it has Rebus, Green Rebus, Lavender, Coconut, Orange Peel, Ginger, Cinnamon, Cardamom, Clove, and Vanilla. Ooh, so it does sound like it is a kind of cross between London Fog and Chai Tea. That one sounds interesting. I might even have to try that as a um, latte sometime. Next we have Tropical Vacation Green Tea it Sips Your Worries Away. Green Tea, Coconut, Strawberry, Pineapple, Green Rebus, and Pineapple, Strawberry, and Vanilla Essence. So here's that tea. 
So this is a caffeinated tea. Ooh. Ooh, that smells really familiar. It kind of reminds me a little um, bit of summer. Mmm. That is something, it smells so familiar. Like a childhood memory unlocked there. So that sounds neat. Next, we have Spring Romance Black Tea. Ooh, black tea, heather flowers, and lilac essence. Ooh, okay, now this has really piqued my interest because lilac. I have never heard of a tea having lilac in it. Okay, this sounds really cool, and I love lilacs. Whoa. Okay, that is crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, this one, so far, is the one I'm going to be most excited to try because lilac, who knew? And it says, relax in the comforts of spring. Okay, this one sounds absolutely amazing. Next, ooh, I'm going to probably mispronounce this. Champs Elysis Herbal Tea. Flavor and aroma, perfect for any engagement. Okay, I probably definitely mispronounced that, but this is a rebus tea with hibiscus, dried cherries, rose hip, and apple. Ooh, cherry and rose hip. That sounds interesting too. Ooh, okay, so this one smells like my mom's cherry scones that she likes to make. Ooh, now I'm gonna have to request mom to make um some cherry scones because this smells just like that. You can see all the pieces in there, so it's not like just crumbly bits. It's full on bits, bits and pieces. Ooh, also we have some tea sugar, which is awesome. This is, it looks like um, rock cane sugar. Sweeten the deal without changing the flavor. Our favorite sugar for teas. I might just have to try one of those on their own because I love rock sugar. Ooh, and also we have another, looks like a little tea goodie from them. So let's see what that is. Ooh, it looks like, okay, lots of tissue. A teaspoon with their new logo on it the little hummingbird so now I have a new pewter teaspoon in the shape of a heart oh that is so adorable okay so that is the teas so now it is time to scoop out some tea and start steeping so one moment teas so first off steeping, we have the Full Body Rest Green Tea, and here it is sitting in its little teaspoon, and it says it is an invigorating mix of fresh lemon and ginger, gives you just the pick-me-up you need. And I have it steeping right here in my new infuser, and I'm just going to let that drain a little bit and set that off to the side. So here it is. It is a beautiful green tea color and it is just smells so heavenly the aroma really lifts your spirit so time for a little sippy sip mm. okay that is absolutely tea delightful and I bet with just a touch of honey this would be a really good pick-me-up on a down day and just the smell of it alone is enough to rejuvenate you so I give this one a really big thumbs up and it is so delicious now it is time for our next tea next we have the lavender coconut herbal chai and here is how it looks with all the lovely lavender bits and pieces and it says that this is a unique blend of soft lavender creamy coconut and a hint of spice and here is how it looks like when it's steep it's a lovely goldeny color from the rebus which i absolutely love and since rebus is caffeine free you can have this any time of day so sippy sip 
Ooh, yes, the coconut definitely adds a really nice creamy note to this tea. Um, I like it in its own way, but I'm definitely still loving the full body rest currently. But this one is really, really nice, and I love the blend of lavender and coconut. I never would have thought of putting those two ingredients together, but somehow they really, really work. Enough that I'm just going to give it another sip. Yeah, somehow, I don't know how it is, that, that creaminess of the coconut goes really well with it. And I cannot wait to try this as a nice, sweet chai lavender latte. I think that's going to be really, really nice. So it is now time for our next tea. So the next tea that we have is Spring Romance Black, and you can kind of see the tiny little heather blossoms right there. And it says it is a tantalizing blend full of our favorite spring scent lilacs. And just watching the steep and seeing the little bits of heather in there, um, if you are a fan of like Withering Heights or Jane Eyre, this might just be the tea for you because it gives me that blistery out on the moors kind of feel. And in this mug is actually from Plum Deluxe if you think it's as adorable as I do. And it is my favorite little owl mug. So here is how our black tea looks. Very nice and black. So let's have a nice little sippy sip. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so that is what lilac tastes like, and it's actually really, really nice. The black tea that they pair it with is a really nice malty tea, and it just really emphasizes that lilac flavor. And I don't know if heather has a flavor to it itself. There's also something else in there. It might be the heather blossoms, but this is actually really, really nice. And if you're part of cottage core or you just like books like I said Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights and other spring kind of romance novels. This this is definitely that tea for that for a cozy bookworm moment all wrapped up with a blanket and a good book. This is definitely that tea for that and it is really really nice. So next we have the Tropical Vacation Green Tea, and you can actually see the little pieces of pineapple right there, and it says that it is a bright blend of creamy coconut, strawberry, pineapple, and vanilla is sure to take you on a vacation with each sip. Now, I tend to be a little picky when it comes to tropical blends. There's some combos that I'm just not a fan of, so I'm really hoping that this flavor is to my liking. So here is how it looks when it is steeped, a nice green tea. And always be careful when steeping white and green teas. You need to use a lower steeping time and a lower temperature so that you don't end up with a bitter, nasty brew. But let's see how this tea tastes. Okay, so this is a tropical blend that the combo is to my liking. Um, I don't think I've ever had one that had strawberry in with it also. Usually it's just like pineapple and coconut, but the strawberry definitely saves this tea for me. It is very nice. The creaminess of the coconut goes really well with the strawberry, and so it just has a really charming... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll call it a really nice, charming flavor to it, and it gives a really good full mouth feel. And I'm gonna give another sip. Mm. Yes, definitely that strawberry is to my liking, but I guess it could be said that if you're not a fan of strawberry, maybe this wouldn't be the tea for you, but for me, the strawberry really, really does it. So for our last tea, I ended up phoning a friend, aka Mum, for the correct pronunciation. This tea is Champs-Élysées. Um, sorry for the mispronunciation earlier, but this is a perfect spell, spellbinding tart cherry and almond treat inspired by one of our customers' love stories. That is what the little description is. And you can just see all the delicious goodies of the apple piece pieces, the cranberries, the rose hips, and the hibiscus right there, and it is just stunning. And it does smell like a cherry scone to me, and I, like I said, mom, if you're watching, it is scone time. We need to 
make some scones and have it with this tea because for one, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful red hue. I don't know if it's from the Rebus, Hibiscus, the Cherry, or the Rose Hip, or just all four of them, but it just looks so tantalizing, and it is time to have a nice little sippy sip. Mmm. Okay. was not expecting it to be that delicious, because I kind of have a love-hate relationship with hibiscus, but this one works really well. It has a really nice almondy flavor to it, and the cherry just is perfect, and mm, mm, definitely a tea to go with a scone with lots and lots of butter and jam, and I think that would be absolutely delicious. And also, here is what our um, deluxe tea sugar looks like the um, rock crystal and it looks really really beautiful it kind of has a kind of amber look to it and it's really really pretty and I cannot wait to uh, sweeten my tea with some of these well everybody what do you think did any of these tea blends sound really good to you personally I really like the spring romance and the which one was it? The Full Body Rest Tea, which is right here. This one is just really, really nice and calming. And it's only green tea, um, lemon, and ginger. And, oh, those flavors are wonderful together. Mm. Well, I would just like to say thank you again so much to Plum Deluxe Teas for sending me these wonderful teas to review. And I definitely think you're spring line this year is absolutely fabulous. I give it a 10 out of 10 and it is so good. Mm. And if anyone else has tried Plum Deluxe, leave a comment down below what your favorite tea flavor is. I'd really love to try some new blends with your recommendation. And if you're new, which one of these five teas sounded good to you? Again, let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos or tea reviews ever again. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!